Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. You know what, man? Um, I didn't further looked at the situation with LeVar Ball, man. Now, you know, I just put up a video about the shoes being overpriced, which to me, I do think they are overpriced. I think $500 is for shoes is just ridiculous, period. Now, I want to say to the niggas that's coming with that, why you hating on a black man shit, and he, he a black dude, and you don't know what it's like, dude, don't come at me with that shit, dude, you fucking with the wrong dude. Now, I will say this much, I have to really further evaluate the situation. Now, I will say this much, I have to look into the whole aspect of business. I have to wonder, like, how much is it costing him to produce these shoes, and... You have to take that into, you know, account. Like, you, we already know every pair of Air Jordans, it costs at best, Nike maybe at best, 20 bucks to produce a pair of Space Jams. And they sell them out here for $220. You know, so it's pretty much double, tripling, quadrupling your profit margin. You know, you making bukus of money. Okay, so I don't know how much it's costing, you know, the balls to produce these shoes. So it may be costing them anywhere from 150 to 200 dollars to produce these shoes. So if they are 500, then because it's costing them 200 to produce these shoes, then that's a different story. Because if they're distributing and doing everything in house, then you know that's a different ball game. But if they're, you know, only paying like 50 dollars per shoe. To produce these shoes and then they charge it five hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? Then that's a different story. Now keep in mind, yeah, let them get as much money as they can before the for the bu bubble bust. Because I'm telling you right now, you know the major tennis shoe companies gonna go after him. And I'm just telling you that. I'm not hating, this is just fact. They went after Stefan Marbury for uh selling fifteen dollar kicks. So you know damn well they're going to go after this dude, especially if it's true that this dude sold like 5,000 pairs overnight. So that's that's big bucks, man. So that's a lot of money, and that can turn into a lot of money. And I'm going to tell you right now, tennis shoe companies is just like the dope gang. They want as less competition as possible. And they do a lot of dirty tactics on the inside. So, yeah, I didn't look at it from that point of view. And 78 made me realize that, hey, you know, I'm not right all the time. I didn't look at it full scale. But I looked at it full scale. So now I kind of understand, yeah, get it while you can. Because I'm telling you right now, it's going to be tough for him when he get into the NBA. The other shit that's going to come along with him, you know, being in the NBA, you know, LeBar Ball is making a lot of enemies. But we'll see how this turns out. So, you know, um, I stand by what I said about the shoes being overpriced. But we'll see how this turns out, man. Only time will tell. I'm out.